Ba Fung. I love Ba Fung dumplings. Ba Ba <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, those are my favorite. The、uh, Korean spicy pan fried, really good. 中华职棒为了增添比赛的精彩度以及提升选手们的竞争力，自联盟开创以来就一直有洋将的制度。洋将的加入除了带给战力上的补强之外，也能和本土选手们互相交流棒球技术和训练的观念。漂洋过海来到海外打拼的洋将们，除了因为离乡背景较少机会和家人相处之外，也要克服不同的天后状况、饮食文化和生活形态，是非常不容易的。今天的节目就让乐天桃园正中的洋将们和大家分享他们在台湾的所见所闻。One adjective to describe Taiwan: hot. This place is hot.、Uh, for right now, we'll just say rainy. But I mean, it's kind of country to me as far as like the environment. It's not a huge city where we're at,、uh, so it's nice. It's peaceful. I say it's peaceful. It's probably the the best one for me. Uh, I think you got to be out in it. I think you run in it, throw in it,、uh, and just the more you're you're in the heat, the more accustomed your body gets.、Um, I've had quite a few different culture experiences, not just playing in Japan, but playing in、uh, Puerto Rico, the Dominican, and Mexico.、Um, I mean, obviously, like the food choices can be different.、Um, the languages are a big difference. Um, like I said, when I've always talked about baseball, baseball is pretty similar everywhere you go.、Um, it might be certain places have more power hitters versus here you have more some contact guys. But、um, yes,、yeah, it's, it's the biggest difference is just be languages and food.、Um, when you get down to the baseball side of it, it's it's pretty all pretty similar. You gotta relax. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just chilling.、Uh, honestly, I'd say it's pretty similar in the fact that the fans are pretty crazy.、Uh, they like to be loud,、um, cheering pretty much the whole game.、Um, I would say it's probably a little more organized、um, here and in Japan. A little more organized versus in some of the、um, Latin countries. It's just a little bit more like yelling and cheering、um, overall. So there'll be differences. Well, first the language. They speak Korean. You guys speak Mandarin.、Uh, it's probably the biggest difference. But other than that, I mean, baseball is baseball everywhere around the world.、Uh, the mound's still 60 feet away. The bases are still 90 feet. So just go out and play the same way you would anywhere.、Uh, so that's pretty similar.、Um, in both places, all the hitters kind of have their own walkout song that's、uh, sung by the fans.、Uh, you know, the fans are into the game. They stay till the end, and they're always cheering no matter what the score is. So it's pretty similar in both places. Oh, before COVID,、um, we got to go play golf once.、Uh, we went down to Sunrise,、um, go up to Taipei, walk around. I mean, just explore.、Uh, I really like to explore、uh, any country I'm in, the different cultures and sites and everything like that. I mean, this is this is most of our lives. I'd say on the off days,、um, maybe shoot over to Taipei a couple times,、um, but just relax because you spend so much time at the field. I usually spend my off days talking to my family as much as possible, and then just relaxing, playing some video games. Um, watching some movies and stuff like that. So,、um, but I, I, honestly, I didn't do a whole lot before the pandemic hit. Anyway, I have not. That was、uh, actually one of the things I would want to do when we have our off days back is to be able to go over to the top floor of the one one building.、Um, haven't been, been there yet. I mean, I, I really don't know a whole lot.、Um, you know, I've, I've enjoyed my visits to Taipei.、Um, I enjoy. Uh, walking around in Tainan, we were staying down there.、Um, Taichung is really nice, but I didn't venture too far from the hotel.、Um, go down to the uptowner and have some breakfast and some food there.、Um, go over to the Sogo building, but、um, I haven't had too many adventures quite yet. I mean, I wanted to go explore. I think it's Kinting, the beach.、Um, I wanted to go to the Lotus Pond,、uh, but obviously COVID's made some of that tough.、Um, you know, hopefully there's time to go once the pandemic clears up. Yeah, the lake in Kaohsiung. We stayed in a hotel when we played the Dragons in Kaohsiung, and right across the street was the lake with the wakeboarding, and、um, there was like a little place to eat overlooking the lake. That place was beautiful. There's two really cool temples on the other side.、Uh, I think one was a dragon and one was a tiger. I thought that was pretty cool. Ba Fung. I love Ba Fung dumplings. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, those are my favorite. The uh, Korean spicy pan fried, really good. Uh, and the chicken and veggie. Oh, beef noodle, yeah, the beef noodle. Uh, really good, where did we have that? I don't remember, we had it on the road one day, maybe Tainan, really good. The, uh, I really like chicken and rice in Chai City. The chicken and rice in Chai City was really, really good. Yeah, I mean, the food here is good. I, I'll try anything once. There's been a few things I won't eat again, but I'll try anything once. That impresses me. Um, I do like the uh, Falun Bao and the Bao Tzu. Um, I like the pork rice and most of the noodles I enjoy. Um, I'm not a huge seafood guy, so if it's just any pork or beef, I'll usually try it and eat it. Um, so those are probably some of my favorites. How about like sticky Bonk. Yeah, I've tried it once, never again. One time is enough for me. Nope, just once. Just one time, that's all I needed. Top three would be uh, stinky tofu, stinky tofu, stinky tofu. <laughs> yeah. I definitely say if you get a chance to visit, visit. Um, as far as living, I mean, I don't think I've had enough experience here to say could live here. It depends on what you're doing as far as business and all that kind of stuff. Um, I know, obviously, you look at a guy like Mike Lurie, who's been here every year. I'm sure he enjoys it because he's been here for, what, nine years now? So obviously, people can enjoy living here um, and even playing baseball here, depending on what your job is. Um, as far as where I would go to visit, I, I would definitely recommend going over to Taipei. Um, Tai Chung, Tai Yan. Um, it's just kind of those bigger cities are definitely going to be more of the attractions. Um, so just checking out the cities and um, checking out the sites. Sure, yeah, once the pandemic's over. Um, you know, it's a beautiful place. It's crazy that you can go basically an hour uh, east and west and be at the beach or the mountains. So that's pretty cool. A lot of FaceTime. With our time difference uh, back home, it's like 14 hours. So I usually catch them right when I wake up, they're going to bed. And then right when I'm going to bed, they're waking up. So just as much FaceTime as possible. And uh, yeah, can't wait to see them. I mean, yeah, I, I miss my family very much. Um, they know that I talk to them every day. Uh, it's a lot, whole lot of FaceTime uh, pictures and videos and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, that's the one thing that kind of stinks about the pandemic is without that, they would be here right now, um, which is the hardest part right now. Um, so, yeah, I miss you guys and uh, I can't wait to see you guys as soon as they open up the borders. You're coming. Let's go. Um, I don't know. I don't know the region specific Pokemon, um, but I've had the chance to catch some shiny Pokemon here, which are pretty cool. I actually just caught a uh, shiny Staryu the other day, maybe yesterday. So that's kind of cool. Um, but you know, I know I don't know the region-specific Pokemon, uh, but I do enjoy playing. You know, being on the bus rides or whenever I'm walking around. When I used to take the train, walking to the train station, um, just catch the Pokemon, and keep myself busy um, in some of my downtime. So, so I, I do like Pokemon. I like the Pokemon movie Pet Detective uh, with Pikachu. I I started playing in Japan back in 2016, but I only played for about three months and I stopped. Um, and then I just picked it back up in spring training here. It was the first time I started playing again. I mean, I like, I like to keep it uh, neat, I guess. I don't want it to get all crazy. Um, but as far as like the hairstyle, as, as long as it's not looking crazy, I'm okay. So yeah, I do like to comb it um, just to make sure there's no tangles and stuff in it, you know? So teach my, teach my daughter good habits with her hair. Hao 隔阂這樣子
不止在球场，在私下，我们的相处模式会更好。这样，我公公够，其实他当时来到的时候，他在座位玩的时候，我看到，然后我就会笑他说：“为什么你的等级这么低啊？你的，你的怪为什么都这么少？”然后他就他就觉得我很像在调侃他这样，然后等我开启了手机给他看之后，他就觉得嗯，你真的蛮厉害的。刚好又有共同的方面在 Pokemon Go 这一方面，所以我们大家也会就是打开手机，然后告诉他说哦，这个怪在台湾的什么地方抓这样。然后可是我觉得 Pokemon Go 是因为我们很多怪是只有在国外才抓得到的，所以他也会跟我炫耀说他的国家也有这么厉害的怪，所以我们就是互相就是切磋这样。他这一方面，其实他洗完澡，他就觉得他还蛮喜欢照镜子的，然后他就很喜欢梳头发，他就觉得他自己很帅。然后有时候我们就就在旁边就会开玩笑说：“啊，你是外国人，你当然觉得自己很帅。”我说：“你都不知不觉得我们亚洲人也蛮帅的嘛？”因为可是他就会觉得我们亚洲人是黑色头发，他是金色头发，所以他就故意在面子梳给我们看这样。然后有时候就会跟他打闹啊，拿他的梳子，不止梳他头发，连他胡子都帮他梳一梳，说：“你最帅了。”